Yeah. Suck that, stuck that, got fans on the low. They never let it show. They never let me know. Got women on the low, and they feelin' from your foe. They never let it show. They never let me know. Suck that, stuck that, got fans. If you in the ditch and you need to lift, get with Top Chief Transportation. They specialize in tows, lock assistance, battery replacements, and tire changes. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Get with them. That was cool as hell. He <laughs> said, <laughs> hey, you hey, hey, said, like 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 I'm trying to use the vape as like a little extra. Y'all like, hey. don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. So, you know, I got to. Hey yo, <laughs> hey we live at the honey table, man. Hey, it's a special guest, man. Man, it's been I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. When the last time I seen you since we did? You was out. You was at the. You was at the house in the pod. Yeah, that's that's the last time I seen you, bro. What's going on, man? Who are you and where are you from? Yo, what's the words? Jensen the motive. You know we out here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We out here posted. You know, I do, I make music, I'm a music marketing promoter, I manage a couple artists in the city, I have my own podcast, I help do shit, I am do hella shit, really, you just gotta just really come tap in with me to figure out, I can do about anything. Hell yeah, how did you, uh, how did you get into all the music stuff, like, what made you get into music, you, get, you know? Oh yeah, so, uh, I got into the music shit, so it started off, I was making graphic design shit, I don't know if you, anybody back in the day remember when the sports teams they had the thorough graphics they made all those dope sports edits yeah i loved that shit as a kid and i downloaded the editing software and learned how to edit sports pictures but then i started to realize that hey you editing pictures can go through anything so i started making song covers and so i'd go on twitter and make my favorite artist song covers got tapped in on some artists i made some shit for montana 300 ended up working through them doing all, a bunch of shit for them Ended up able to make a piece for Juice World that's on SoundCloud to this day. You can go look it up. Juiced Up EP. I, I helped co-make that art, uh, that fucking album cover. Uh, did I, I helped uh, co-create the fucking Rico Reckless Soldier Boy disc cover? Classic. If you know, you know. Damn. Uh, fucking. I, I did shit with Love Foe. Uh, I was tapped in with Nick Mirror for a while. There's a whole bunch of Chicago artists. Shout to. Uh, fuck, I forgot bro's name. It was Montana's manager at the time. But shout out to bro. Bro put me on a lot of plays and helped me get my name out there. And that's how I really transitioned into that. And then I, uh, once I got older, I started figuring out about the Tulsa rap scene, linked myself in with that, and it's been history ever since. Just took off running 13 years strong. So messing with the Tulsa rap scene, who did you first, like, introduce yourself to or start getting into when you uh, tapped into the Tulsa rap scene? If you're talking about big artists... Cause I started my own music group in high school. I didn't even rap. I just got a bunch of artists under me and fucking made a group. And that's yeah. how I originally started. But if we're gonna talk about bit artists. The big, uh, I feel like Phil Sosa is definitely the first one who like noticed me. Cause I'd always send him shit. Phil Sosa's always been my pound for pound number one goat of all time. Yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're not even gonna debate on it. I've already said it. You can go see it in the other interviews. I've said it multiple times. Number one, him, and that's basically it. Phil Sosa. And then once I got the Phil Sosa code sign, I was like, shit. This the best motherfucker out here. If you fuck with me, I, everybody else gotta fuck with me. So that's just how it started going. But it didn't really pick up for me until about eight or nine months ago when it was really like, okay, I've had motion elsewhere. I've done shit with bigger artists. I've done shit with Mozzie and shit. I've done shit all over the place. But it, it was different now that I can, you know, I walk around my hometown and people know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's just a different feeling, so. That was definitely crazy. Man, I, all right. You just said something that I just, you know, had in my, in my notes, man. The Mozzie. Man, I seen, I seen the comment. I seen the picture, man. How how did y'all, did y'all, like, actually talk? Or, like, hey, y'all got dialogue between y'all? Or it was just, like, well, so the, following and, and showing love and stuff like that? So the thing about that is, is it was some shit I was doing with Empire at the time. I ended up getting a little thing with them when I was working. And I just got an opportunity to help co-design an album cover for... Uh, so the tape it, the end of getting used it was the one with the yellow Lamborghini on it I yeah. forgot what that one's called it was around that time in 2020 they didn't they end up using the one I worked on but I ended up helping with it and they ended up sending me hella merch and shit and um, you know Mozzie's just I don't even know how he found my page bro it was just what, it, it was even way later after post bro came posted and I DM bro we DM back and forth for a little bit and then E Mozzie followed me and I've made shit for Sally Rue and all of them out there <coughs> those are our you know, Mozzie's my favorite artist of all time, right behind, right behind Nipsey Hustle. So it was always a dope feeling. Everybody, see what's so funny, Bernard, is is I actually have the shirt that says it. 
know me, they, you know what I'm saying, you know. And I was going to wear the shirt, but I was like, man, you know. I'm you don't want to say that. I just would have laughed. I'm not even going <laughs> I just would have laughed. That would have been funny, man. But speaking on that, though, speaking on that, have you ever, uh, you know, have you ever used the N-word? Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I feel like if any white person gets on here and says it, never says I use the N-word, granted, I took it out of my vocabulary once I became an adult. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, but when I was like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's all I was surrounded by. I, everybody yeah. around me was saying it, and when I said it, it was never a problem. But then, you know, you know, time goes on, some shit in the country happens, and, you know, beliefs yeah. start becoming stronger, you know what I'm saying? Who am I going to tell somebody that, hey, this isn't offensive to you, and I can say what I want? And it really took me being... I remember the first time I got pressed for saying it. I was 20 years old at a house party. My homeboy, Malik, I dapped him up. I was like, what's good, you mind? And he didn't say nothing. We were tender and regal. And then once the once it died down, he pulled me to the side and he goes, he I love you, bro. It. No, he goes, I love you, bro. He goes, I love you to death. But if you ever call me that again, I'm going to smack you in the face. And I'm going to hug you after. It was just leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm older, you know, you start looking into careers and your know, digital footprint. I just took it out of my vocabulary. You know, I'm not going to lie. There's still some day one homies I ain't seen in a while. If I see them, you know, I'm definitely going to say it. Oh, but you know what I'm saying? But a day-to-day -day, day -to -day conversation, day-to-day <laughs> -day conversation, a businessman, I, I keep that shit out of my vocabulary. But, you know, there's some certain people, you know, back in the day, I'd be like, they know what it, they know what it is to me. And I, they know it's not nothing offensive. That's just how, you know, that's what I was around, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you hang around rappers, you're going to be a rapper, you, you know? know? The songs, the songs even say, the songs say. Shit, yeah, I ain't going to lie. If I'm in the car by myself. Man, if too fat, too, I'm saying the shit. Like, I just don't like the fact that people feel like, like, you're going to get on here. If I said no, I'd be lying. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, that don't make sense. Like, I, I, I guarantee you almost everybody says it. And, you know, and I feel like I mean, I'm not going to act right. like no saint. I, do I walk around in day-to-day -day conversation and just yapping it? Hell hey, no. Hey, another, another point. You you watch Shirt Cap, right? Yeah. Yeah, he had two. Don't uh, talk about that little white kid, bro. He had two, he had two white girls on there. Oh, the recently. white girls. Yeah, the two white girls recently, and they were saying they were saying the N word like hella, hella, like in a lot. They were saying it, man. What's yeah, that's, see, that's tacky that? to me though. Now that I'm a grown adult, that shit's tacky to me, and that's no diss to anybody. I don't care what anybody else got going. All I care about is what I got going. Yeah. But for me, as a grown man, like even today, I'll get on my snap memories and look at memories from 2016 when I was a teenager and like see that. me saying that shit. And I'd be like, bro, that, I wish someone would have sat me down and told me sooner that hey, this isn't a good look, you know. Mm -hmm. Man, at least you, like you said, at least you being honest. Because if I if I said no, I didn't say it. I guarantee you, there's about five people from high school that will go get some memories of me, memories of me freestyling, baby face, and all. Oh, so you know, that's just real life. I ain't. For sure, for sure, man. You, the podcast you was on, I was on with you, you know, for an episode, man. Wanted to come back. The Weekend Warriors, man. How how that happen? The Weekend Warriors. So the Weekend Warriors, everybody knows my co-host was. Uh, Lil Nate two times. Wait, how y'all link up? My bad. How y'all link up? Me and Lil Nate? Yeah. That's been my best friend since I was a baby. Oh, okay. So that's my family. That's actually my second cousin. So uh, me and him are nine months apart. So basically he was born and then I was born. And, and, his, and his, my, uh, his dad and my mom were like best friends. So we grew up around each other the whole time. We grew up our whole lives together. We've been best friends our whole lives. And then the whole Weekend Warriors thing was is we... I, I'm known for partying. That's all I've ever done from about 2018 until about now. I've yeah. done. That's all I do. And so I always call myself the weekend warriors. I'm a warrior of the weekend. If it's the weekend, you know I'm somewhere out there in the field. Yeah. And so then Nate joined, so it's the weekend warriors. And then one day we had an idea to make a fucking uh, beer Olympics video where we just invited like 30 friends and just teams of two. Yeah. A, a battle we had medals and everything. We just made a Damn. YouTube video. Then what up? It was our first video. And then I was like, Shit, with this equipment, we could probably sit down and interview people. And yeah. then we did our first interview. We had to delete it because some shit was said in it that I didn't like. Who, who, who was the first interview? <laughs> I'm not going to say no names. No, go ahead. Just a hundred table. Okay, a hundred table. The first interview was my, actually, the, the ABK boys. The ABK boys, which they're, it's a, it's more of, they're like more of like a, I don't know how to describe the rap. They're not like a. They're not like this type of rap and toss. They're, they're, they're like metal they're, rap. They're like. They're more of like the, uh, Ian Triplin and oh, like. Ian Triplin, I love. Yeah, him. they're, I like they're like more that, like, like that, that like that underground style I shit. I love Ian Triplin. So like that, and you know, you know, me and Nate provided a big hundred dollar bar of liquor, and let's just say yeah, it was smashed, yeah. and people were in there saying some crazy shit. Okay. It ended up hitting 400 views in like 26 hours. 26 hours. Yeah. It was probably one of the <laughs> been our best video ever, but then. 
you know, one of the dudes, one of the dudes on there at the time was going through a lot and his mind wasn't in the right head space. And out of respect for him and his image and his career, I decided it was probably best for me to take it down. The damage had already been done with everything in that situation. So I was like, I'm not just going to make bro look like a fool. Yeah. And that's not what my platform was about. It was never about negativity. As you see, you can watch all my videos. No, Anytime you, someone's you on there, you if, if, you, if you came on my podcast trying to politic, I would have stopped the camera and said, hey, this isn't the, I said, this hey, isn't yo, the no, show no, Y'all low-key tried to... Yo, low key tried to politic with uh, Cuz, man. Yeah. It wasn't no politicking, but yeah, Cuz blocked me. Y'all low key tried to. Cuz <laughs> blocked me. Y'all low key tried to do y'all thing. Yeah, y'all. Hey, I was. Gonna I was going to invite him. Who? I'm just kidding. That would have been funny. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't chip. No, I'm done. No, no, it's, I'm talking to you after. Like, <laughs> I, I, I was telling her, I was like, when he pulls up, I'm like, I'm going to tell him he's pulling up. I wouldn't have tripped. That would have been a crazy episode, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, that would have been a funny one. <laughs> I was walking around the house all night talking about cuz block me. Remember, I was DMing you that shit for like three days afterwards. Every time you'd see me something, I'd be like, cuz block me. You'd be like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's your A, man. That was some shit I just made up trolling, man. But, man, what artists do you like closely work uh, like closely work with? Right now. You work uh, with every, you know, you work with who you, you know, who you, you know. No, I work with who reach out, but like who, like who exclusive to Jen? Oh, it's like, uh, not really exclusive right not now. Not exclusive, but you, you know, you put, but you know, my man, you know, yeah. my man Gunners right now, SDO Bobo. We just made the transition. So officially I'm announcing on here. I'm now officially SDO Bobo's manager full time. And you know, when we, I got something big in the works with him coming up this summer. Uh, I work with an artist named GCG Flash, a childhood best friend of mine. I'm going to have to put you on to him. He's a dope kid. Uh, he has he slowed down the music, you know, he's getting older life He's like locking in on life trying to yeah. get his shit. So his shit sell right now, but uh And right now me and too fat me and I, we've been working. I've been working a lot with too fat like Like crazy me and too fat got some shit in the works fucking all, I got a lot of people from two fats camps in the works, too. I got uh My 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 brother to the side of me. He's uh, he'll come sit down with me in a minute. Uh, his name is Payne. He makes music. He's called he's about to start working with me, too Basically anybody, Crisley, me and Crisley being linked. Chris, I was just with Dan Chris. Ten. I just interviewed Chris yesterday. Yeah, I was just on I mean, the Sunday, phone. Sunday, yeah, Sunday. I just got the phone, with Chris, a second ago. But I, uh, me and Dan Ten, I got some shit. I'm making an album cover for him. Uh, I, just basically anybody who has a dream, I support it. If you out here trying to do something for yourself and be something bigger than yourself, I'll support it 100 percent as long as you're a genuine individual. You're not no janky shit. I mean, I seen uh, Nate. I mean, yeah, I seen Nate. He kind of. You know, got got life stuff. You know, he stepped aside for a little bit, man. And you know, he's doing his, you know, he's doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. But what's next for the weekend warriors? Because I I like to come back on there, man. Because that, that that shit was pretty dope. Oh yeah, I was over there chilling. I ain't gonna so, lie, that was a chill episode. So I, oh yeah, I definitely wanted to get another one with you. King was trolling the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah, really yeah King, yeah, Officer you know, King, man. But I'm glad you asked that. So I haven't even announced any of this yet. So this is gonna be dropping here. So. The Weekend Warriors, I'm going to be changing the page name uh, out of respect for Nate. Me and Nate are the Weekend Warriors, and it will never be the Weekend Warriors without Nate. So I'm changing it to Tulsa's Favorite Podcast, and my new co-host will be Tulsa's Favorite Plug, Casey. I, 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 yeah, I see him. Casey. Bro, yeah. it'll, uh, it'll be my homie Casey. Uh, big dude in the town when it comes to marijuana and cannabis. It's going to be a different speed. We're going to have a whole different setup. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a whole different thing. It's going to be dope. Episode 1, Too Fat. Episode 2, Jay Hustle. As a, as, uh, episode three, SDL Bobo. So oh, we're coming back swinging, come back swinging hard. And when I tell you this shit's going to be completely different, we're going to have everything. You know what I'm saying? He's in a different position than Nate was, and, and he, he can really live the content. Nate mm -hmm. has a bunch of, Nate has two kids, yeah, getting yeah. married, yeah. buying a house. Nate didn't really have time. He was just able to do the podcast. Yeah. But now me and Casey, me and Casey are able to hit the road. Like, yeah. you know. Shit, Too Fat just called me and asked if I wanted to go to South by Southwest with them. And I was like, fuck, you should have asked me two days ago. I'd have been fucking ready and gone. South by is this weekend. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go, man. I, I'm low-key trying to go. My damn self, I'm low-key. I got my room booked low-key. Yeah, so Toss the Favorite Podcast. Be looking out for it. Uh, I'm just waiting for my new camera to come in. And that's really all I'm waiting on right now. And then we're ready to spot. We already have the setup ready, just the camera. And then getting Too Fat in the building, getting that shit recorded and getting it started. Man, speaking on Too Fat, man. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This this is some. Uh, all right, one gotta go. I don't know if you heard these artists. I'm, I'm gonna do a couple artists. I'm gonna do a couple duos. One gotta go. Crisley or Elo? Have you heard of Elo? Yeah, I know Elo. Elo. One gotta go. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say Elo because I I, mean, I fuck with Chris. I, I, I'm not saying I don't fuck with Elo. I just don't know. I don't I don't know Elo. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna get. 
I don't, oh, I don't, you I don't have really, nobody. I'm talking about the music. The, I don't really know you love music. Okay, okay. But I, I can sit here and tell you, missionaries, my only, not my mission. Yeah, I know that. I know a little Michael Jackson shit. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Was okay. that Heartburn? Yeah, Heartburn. Get that feeling in my... Yeah, I know yeah, that. Yeah, that's I what I said. I got that in anything. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. I know, I I know that. Crazy. Damn, yeah, I fuck with Crazy, too, man. Crazy is hard. Crazy is hard, man. All right. I don't uh, even know Kaz, man. I'm sorry. We gonna go. <laughs> we gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We'll go, uh, Hakeem Olajuwon Ooh. or Saint Dominic. Oof. I don't. I mean, I'm about to go. Which one to get rid of or which one to keep? Which one got to go? One like who you, you know you got to play that shit all day. Uh, I'm gonna go Saint Dominic because that that boy Hakeem just did a song with my boy Mizo Fire. I fuck with that, you know. That little that some gangster shit, some positive shit they did. Yeah. I can respect that. The Keems a spitter too. Bro makes dope music. Uh, I actually just met bro for the first time. Uh. At the five year anniversary for the Underground Collective. Yeah. A uh, really dope dude. I watched him spit, you know, in person. Bro's cold. Dope dude. Boxing. Stands stands for something bigger than himself. Always respect that. Yeah. So you uh, you play Hakeem and you, uh, you get rid of St. Dom? Yeah, I don't really know St. Dom. Okay. I'm not gonna, you know, Why you always don't know him, motherfucker, man? It's because if it ain't that. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jen's about to. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, man. We gotta go. Uh, who we go? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, this gonna oh, be don't, nice. I know I can't do that. You, you on their side. You low key on their side. <laughs> <laughs> you low key on that side. I've been noticing. You low key on their side. So I'm gonna do two people who kind of from like the same. You know. No, you can do anybody. I'm cool no, with everybody. No, no. Yes, I am, bro. I swear. No, all right, all right. This is what I would do. This because you. I'm, I, the niggas be on sides. Look, I'm gonna say, uh, Ms. L Five or Young Cuddy. I mean, Cuddy forever. My bad, Cuddy forever. Oh, which one gotta go? Yeah, Cuddy forever. I don't listen to Cuddy forever, mm. and that's not no disrespect. Actually, I, actually, the one song I do lose by is Slither Back. No, yeah, that, that, that shit. I, I fuck with that shit, but I'm not just gonna sit here and say I'm I, I'm a Cuddy forever out of it. But like that means a five taco shells, make it right. Like fuck with man. There's something about that slick talk. I listen to Sugar Free. There's a video of me asleep at the studio listening to Sugar Free on my chest. I, I love that, that type of. What rap. gotta go? Jadaya Ko. Oof. Or uh, OTSJ Hancho. Ooh, damn. I'm gonna have to say Jay Hunter gotta go. I fuck with Jediah. That's my brother. Okay. Jediah, I, I knew Jediah before even all that. He was buzzing. I sat in the apartment with Jediah and uh, uh, Mr. SP3, Tristan. They came to the apartment with the idea of SP3 and talked to me about it before that shit was even a thing. I watched Jediah grow. I watched it. He was still in college visiting Tulsa before. This is way before he got his buzz. And uh, I always support him. Jediah's a crazy spitter. Definitely, definitely the future of Toss is in good hands when it comes to rap runs with Jadai, if I can say that. Ooh. I'm going to go to some people I, I, I rock with. Uh, K50 mm. or FFA Rollo. One got to go. Mm. Damn, now, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's hard. Because that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a harder one for me. Mm. I'm gonna go K I just haven't heard enough K fifties music. I listen to Rollo shit and I've actually heard of some of you know, I, I know some shit. I know some shit about, you know, you know. Damn. You know, they, do your homework. Cool dudes. I like those. They, cool you know, dudes. I I was gonna drop a gym on you, but I, I don't know. I, no, might get, I might get beat up if I drop that gym on you. <laughs> I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you when the camera's off, because uh, it's actually one of those things I don't know, you know, that it gets yeah. sticky when I start talking about shit like that. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I know what size you want, man. No, it's not even that. No, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's just windy. You know? Hey. <laughs> All no, right, it has nothing. Man, y'all. This is going to be a crazy one. All right, man. All right. I got two more. I got two more. This one. Uh, oh, man. You could really put me in a hard spot. Tony D. Oh. Our bachelor rapper. Mm. Oh, which one I got to get rid of? Yeah. Uh, I said, I gave, I gave him his name. I gave him his name. This, 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 this is hard for me. Bash got some music. Because G.O.D., even, our, even in our podcast, even in our podcast, I used to listen to Bash the Rapper heavy, like crazy, like, uh, like, what's that song? Hit the song Headshots. I used to listen to that song heavy. That was my, that was my anthem in 2020. Headshots. I used to go everywhere listen to that shit. But then, but I mean, he just hasn't been as consistent with music. So, what was the other option? Tony D. T Tony D ain't been consistent either, but Tony D just dropped though, so I can't say yeah. that. Tony D just just dropped a visual, but I'm about to go with. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Tony D just for the fact that uh, I know Tony, I know Tony D personally, and we we got some shit in the works yeah. too. So, you know, no, that's a, that's actually probably the hardest one you gave me because I actually really do both. Fuck with both. Oh, I, got, I got two more. This is gonna go by quick, man. Skinny Boy T or J Hustle. I'm not gonna get rid of Skinny Boy T. I just don't know, bro. His music like that. I do see it. He was buzzing for a minute. I, I was seeing him everywhere. I don't know what he's doing, man. I, I, I was seeing him everywhere. Man. He got to get back in there. But Jay Hustle, man. Hey, man. Y'all go welcome my brother home, man. Yeah, Jay Hustle. Just touch back. This my last one. Free. This, this my last oh. one, though. This for the. This for the. This the, people will say this was for the crown of Tulsa. Phil Sosa or Gang Ty June. Oh man, Whoa. get rid of June. You already know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Don't do that on camera, what? cuz. That's big two three. That's big two three about Jay. He'll tell you. You hey, know about it. Hey, you know about I mean, that, that would have been my answer, too. I ain't gonna cut. For, for, oh, but, that that would have been my answer. Fuck, like, fuck, Phil Sosa was my number one listen to artist yeah. for three years. He's not a mocker. No, 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 June, I, I respect June, and June actually has a lot of respect for me. I've had to get no, June do his thing, though. No, and like, like I said, I'm not no hater, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not me. Phil Sosa would have been the one I listened to. I just had to. But Phil Sosa, it doesn't matter if it was June, I would have said Phil Sosa over anybody. Yeah, I Because that's my June. I was going to switch your arm with that one. I just wanted to see. No, if you were to put Bubba on someone else on there that was a hard pick, you might have put me in a hard position there. Yeah, I just I, I was just like, I was hoping he didn't do that to me. All right, man. So we talked about, you know, we talked about some, you know, some, rebel, like some cool, you know, some relevant. To, I don't even know how to say it. Like people that's relevant, my bad. Mm -hmm. So we talked about some of them rappers. Like who the next rappers like that people don't know, like in o Tulsa. I'm going to say Tulsa or Oklahoma. I'm going to start Bay. off right. I'm going to start off right here on my brother to the side of me. His name's Payne. I don't. What, what's your name on uh, your stream? Well, you ain't gonna come up. You wanna come sit down real quick? Come, come man, come move the walk real quick. Yeah, Tell them do they extend some research? Do this is the hunting yeah. table. Do yeah, do come on now. My name Young Payne. You feel me? I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And what, what kind? What kind? What kind of music you make, man? Let them know. Bro, I just be. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know what kind of music. Yeah, he I makes mean, he yeah, makes more make... of like the. Uh, we'll just have to play. Uh, you just have to go look him up. Uh, he just changed his Instagram handle. Was what? Little Booby Trap. I don't know why. You I made that. new. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He just, yeah, he just sent me that. He just sent me that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little Booby Trap on Instagram. You feel me? L U L. But now nah, I make a music that I give you goosebumps for real that you can relate to. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's not on no none of that ah, ah, shit. He's like on some yeah. shit talking about how he really what he going through and it's right. really relatable. Some dope I, shit. Uh, but besides, bro, um, when it comes to the music shit, who I feel is coming up next, like not a known name, right? Yeah, like yeah, like a name know, that nobody yeah. might know. Yeah. Shit, my brother GCG Flash too. He's about to get back in the lab soon. He just dropped. He has a color. He has a couple color wall videos that have come through. Um. Oh damn! I know so many artists, man. I think they're go through my head. Man, I'm trying to shout out to the Untitled Collective. Yeah, shout out to Untitled me? Collective. That whole they're doing real things. You feel me, my brother Kai? Yeah, I've already vouched for them. Hell, on my story. Oh my mama. And then, um, you know what? Uh, you know, look, uh, what's his name? Young Jockey. Well, Young Jockey. <laughs> young Jockey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey on my mama, I ain't even gonna hold you. I just DM cuz bro. I never heard a song by him. But just his Instagram was cool. Like it was oh, yeah, like definitely yeah. a vibe to him. Hey man, look. Me, me and another personality, I'm I'ma say it cause he he don't give a fuck either. Me and OG Nino, we was just we were just talking. We were just talking today, man. We kinda both kinda said this shit getting mid out here in Tulsa with the music. It's getting it's getting it's getting bunk, it ain't even mid. Yeah, I'm just getting, getting tired. Bark, man, what, what we gonna do about you probably this? never heard a song by me, but how can we fix it? The thing is, I, is I feel like, and this is me and me and Chrisley talked on the phone for three hours the other day, and we talked about this same exact Chris thing. Is hard. We talked about this same exact thing, and I and Chrisley was basically asking me like, what do I think it is? And what I think it is is we backed ourselves in a corner. We've 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 we're only blowing up the artists who do the one type of music. And we're not really open to hearing new things. Thank God for people like King Spence who give people a platform and allow them to have well, an he, image. Look, in he town. I said that. I said without he, Spence, without, Spence, without he's him, dead. he's dead. Without him, I, I you know, I wouldn't heard niggas. You, you, we would only know the people we still know. You know, shout out to King Spence. He's really diverse in the game. But honestly, I feel like people just have to be 
more welcome to listening to other types of music. And I've had to come that way myself too. I, I, I can go in my car and listen to DD all day. That's something I don't want to listen to artists this year. But, you know, at, at some point, you know, I get tired of hearing, ah, ah, you know? Yeah. And the point I, I made the point I made to Grizzly is, is when you think of the ah, ah, ah sound, you think of, oh, you think of J-Bo. Right now, J-Bo's the number one person doing it. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, but j but go look at his Instagram numbers. j numbers not even that crazy. And if that's the king of the kings, and that's still not even that – it's still Chris, not – Call him j the king of the kings is crazy. He's the king of kings. Uh, of the – of the California shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and so – He's one of the hottest artists in Northern California. Like, he, he but, one of the hardest every time he gets out, his, his ego up. Every time. Yeah, but the way yeah. I look at it is, is I feel like that, that uh, 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 sound is so – one dimensional it only has one yeah. set of fans but for someone if i get on a song like a rod wade beat i can talk my pain spit some street shit and all that and not and then the bitches can listen to it the men can listen to it and at that point you're at max spectrum you're at max spectrum you can max, your, your audience max. your audience expands yeah. and and i feel like the problem with tulsa music is is we have such a one ideal based sound that it's only gonna go through that shit. And you know, like I told Chrisley on the phone, I said, even if someone from Tulsa with that sound blows up, then you're gonna have to get the pass from the California motherfuckers. Because, and, that, and that's G, you can say, no, we're not, no, we're not. Yes, go look at Surecap's, go look at Surecap's comments right now. You go to this, go look at Surecap's comments. Oh, all, what is this? Tulsa, really it's know. Tulsa, Tulsa really make believe really Cali. Like it's Tulsa Cali. make believe Cali. Yeah, are y'all trying to be Cali? They gangbang in Oklahoma. Are y'all not? Y'all are not Cali. That's er, and, almost every. That's, but that's, and then it's just every, bro. Just every place though. It's like just any bro. place. Well, dig my bad. Any place with the game, man, you don't have to tap into California. Yeah, sure. I mean, but it's just bro interviewing a bunch of little kids. I, I fuck with Shirkan. We the best. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know that shit. And I but don't even know any though. of the people that he's giving people platform. Yeah, I mean, for sure, for sure. I just think that. It's he he No, no. I he, just think that it's a negative a thing. Negative like, yeah, oh, because, but because all the like shit that means shit on it, you know, yeah. like all the shit that's blown up yeah. is funny. And, that, and that's but that's, most of the shit that I've seen on it is like, and that's what me like, and Chrissy also said. We're like every yeah. video that blows up on his page is just some is some shit that makes us just it. look dirty. Though. I love it. That's just I love it too. I love it too. It's because there's people on there who like, bro. I, I watch this just to see what y'all got going yeah. down there. Like y'all motherfuckers are in a GTA server. I'm man, like, you know, that shit is funny, man. But damn, so we just gotta change. We just gotta be more open. Tulsa has to be more open to what they yeah. Is. We just gotta to play more shit. Tulsa, Tulsa is a, a muddy place in general. You feel me? Like it, there, there's no, there's no change in that. You know. I just feel like we just gotta have more of an open ear to sounds. You know, as much it's like yeah, well, people, music, people in the town will listen crazy. to Dee, but then go listen to Rob Wave, but they they will they won't listen to Dee, then go listen to someone who makes music like Rob Wave in the town. Dee, that's is the hard disconnection. As I ain't gonna that's hold the you. I don't know, bro, from a can of paint. Because <laughs> it's tough as the Man, fuck. shout out my brother Didi, bro. Oh, Jesus, bro. And my brother put me on to do, and you feel me? No dick riding shit. <laughs> I ain't never what you got next for this, brother? Hey, no, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm letting him get his shit off. Bro, he will. He'll talk. He'll I ain't talk. never texted her another you to me, but <laughs> I'm letting him get his shit off. The way that he do that shit, the I, like, bro. I'm letting him get his shit Watch your tone when you talking to a gas man, bro. Bro's Fish tough. Bro need, to, bro need to hear some of my shit so he can come on. No, we'll get, get to him. Get the feature. You hear me? Because so I'm trying to fuck though. Up. You do music. Lastly, you do music. Yeah, I mean. I we can know. play this shit, bro. We no, can freestyle. Oh, he's talking to me, bro. He's talking to oh, me. Oh, my bad, my bad. You do music. So when, how you get into me? Well, you've been doing music forever. But like when you dropping again? Like, I was, I'm was. i supposed to drop April 14th. I'm supposed to drop Pale Face Presidential. Which yeah, is you've been be... waiting on that, man. You've been dropping leaks. You've been dropping songs on the story, man. You've been previewing. Man. We're talking to previews. and trying to, hey, man. Well, the thing is, you know, I'm working with people from Tulsa. It's hard to get, you know, it's hard to keep people on schedule, man. Oh, yeah. Features and stuff. Yeah, you yeah, but I know probably won't get features until some, July, man. Yeah, some guaranteed <laughs> features on there. I know Jedi is going to be on the intro with me. It's a play that funky, play that funky music that white boy. Okay. Yeah. And he's going to be on the intro for that. I got to confirm features from uh, Sabri Carter. Dope female in the town. I got mm-hmm. features from GTG Flash. Uh, I got features from Waylon. Uh, the boys at Patchwork. Fucking, um, I got a song with Didi on there. 
I got songs. I'm sh supposed to have a song with Bubba getting done soon. I right, just a bunch of people, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to broaden the spectrum, you know. Just trying to get some different shit on there, cause right now it is real. Ah, but yeah. I don't take music serious. I'm not gonna sit here and act like yeah. I'm about to say yeah. I'm not. I'm not a fuck. I'm not. I'm not a rapper. If someone asks me if I'm a rapper, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I'm a rapper. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm. Make, I hop into a studio and say, you ain't never had a cracker up the stature. I'm the type to go on Raptors. He just worked a nine to five. He's going home right after. You hear me? I'll get on there and say some shit. You know. That's all I mean, Like you was speeding it up. Oh, that wasn't speeding. No, that's actually on the shit. I said you ain't. <laughs> What do you say? I said, you ain't never had a cracker of this stature. I'm the type to go on rafters. He just worked a nine to five. He's going home right after. That, that is I'm the type to get tragic. Bond like Goran Dragic. So, so, man, all right. This is my last, this, yeah, this is probably the last question before we shut shit down. So, man, do you think niggas should do another report card or do you oh, yeah. should stop it? No, I think you should do another report card. I think you need to do it bigger this time. I feel like you need to get a panel of motherfuckers. We do. Niggas are scared to show their face. Well, they're legit on that motherfucker. Huh? Let me on there. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. Whoever want to whoever wanna show their face, we can get 10 different artists. I will. I'll go on there with an extensive we, research. We can, ten different, we can get 10 different artists or whatever, man. Every, okay. niggas, <laughs> niggas are scared to show their face, man. Why do you think... Well, my, but why, look... But Bernie, that's the problem. I, I want to actually. I want to, this is about to be the last. No, that but we just brought into more conversation. This is a good ass interview because you actually talking about shit. But that's the problem, Bernie. <laughs> and this is the problem. This is the problem right this here. And this is the problem with Tulsa. This is why we're never going to progress. Is because motherfuckers getting their feelings. You know how many times people have came up to me and gave me criticism on my podcast, yeah. and I said, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate. But. You know, someone came up to me about my music. And my, he was like, bro, I think you can do this, 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 that. And I'm like, damn, thanks. I, I appreciate it. it. I, I appreciate that shit. Because if, because if you don't if you don't take criticism, you can't make it in media. There's going to be people who don't like you. There's going to be people who don't like your music. And if you don't like that, you're in the wrong profession. I'm sorry. Yeah. And we live in a society where it's all of a sudden you can't disagree with somebody or it's beef. Oh, you hate me. Oh, you hate me, yeah. Like, Burner, the music you listen to, I might not like, but I'm not going to be like, man, it's fuck Burner. Like, yeah. that don't make sense. Like, yeah. you might, Burner, you might not like me on music and be like, you know, Jen's music is not for me. But I'm not going to walk around talking about, man, Burner K, we smoking yeah. that J Burner over here. <laughs> like, that don't make sense. <laughs> like, like, what does it have to do with, like, it don't make yeah. sense. Like, no, yeah, no. I, I just feel like that's tender, bro. That's tender as fuck. Like, really, that's, that's, that's female traits, bro. That's like some female shit. Like, in, in my life, that's real life. Like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hurt at your opinion about the shit I'm doing. That don't make, I you know what I'm saying. Like if you really sit down and break it down and make it a real life scenario, a lot of people would be like, "Damn, that is some hoe shit." Like, if you don't like your music getting critiqued, don't post it. You know that simple as that. Like, you know, if if you're already getting criticism in a town where you're only getting hundred plays, imagine what's gonna be like when you get two million. Oh, man, that's gonna go you know what I'm saying? That's real life. So why extensive feel, research. So why you feel these uh, why these media outlets want to be politically correct? Politically correct because they scared. Niggas don't want to show their face. Outlets. Niggas don't want to. It, it's, it's bad, man. I think me, you, uh, OG Nino, and probably I can probably say no. Sure, Cap. He he he. I go like bro. It's not it's bro not, bro on a certain side, but. Just me, you, OG, me, know the like three no media people that don't, you know, we don't give a fuck what, you know. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what anybody is. People try not to burn bridges, man. Man, not bridges, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you're a grown man, you see what I'm doing. And this is the and this is what I'll tell anybody who say anything about anything I do. I'll say it like this. I'm a grown man. You don't see me twisting my fingers in none of my photos. Go look at all me. You don't see me throwing up nothing in none of my shit. You don't see me branding none of that shit on me. Yeah. I'm a grown man, and I work in the media. I work in the media. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 I work in the media. And this, what my goal is, is to get us all out of here. Yeah. I'm not trying to get these people out. I'm not trying to get these people out. I don't know, man. I'm building a foundation <laughs> through myself, and the people who fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, shit, I mean, because like I, said, I, I fuck, like, my little brother, J1, from Neighborhood. Yeah. I, I work with Bobo. I work with Bobo and DD them, all of them from Hoover. So, I mean... What, I mean, it don't matter. I had them on the same show together. I had them on the same show together. Who you work with? Uh, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chill. That's <laughs> good. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Chill. I love you, so I'll be accusing Crisley of the same thing. He know that. <laughs> That's why Crisley made his fucking letters on his album cover red. We're I don't like, even know oh, Chris. I don't even know Chris, but I fuck with Chris. But now, though. But I've seen it. 
Bro. But it, it, like the thing is though, like I said, man, I'm t I'm about to be 24 years old. Damn, I'm about to be 20, I'm yeah, about yeah. y'all about to be 24 years old, and if I'm still out here trying to do all that shit, I'm just wasting my time. Yeah. I'm trying to be something bigger for myself. I'm trying to be something bigger for my community, and if I'm out here fucking influencing that shit, I'm just bringing my community down. That shit's held us under for so long. Divisions held us under. That's why we're still here trying to build this shit up. This shit, this, our whole, our, this, our town's known from being broken up. They ain't divided just by, you know, by the politics. It's divided by uh, clicks, by, not, clicks, you know, bro, clicks like, bro, just be, don't be giving up the plugs, niggas, don't be, like, niggas be gatekeeping, all that, but, man. So, my, okay, my opinion, what, what do you feel about gatekeeping? Because I'm out of podcast for some I don't like, I don't like older niggas. I don't. I ain't gonna cap. I don't, I'm I don't, 30, but I, I'll be, I'll be trying to bring all the young niggas up. I don't, all the older niggas, I don't fuck, fuck them. Yeah, I mean, niggas, niggas, I mean, you know, not all of them, but niggas, the niggas that don't, you know, niggas know who they is. Niggas know who I don't fuck with. Yeah. Because black me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I have no problem, bro. I just, I, I'm just going to, like, he's cool. He's cool. I'm just going to. Nah, man. That's just, that's just his name. Yeah, I just wish, cool. I wish the best for everybody, Stop. man. We got to come to the realization that, that we got to come to the realization that no matter who makes it out, it's always going to help you regardless where you man. fuck with them or not. Whether you fuck with June or not, if he goes out and drops the number one hit record and people are like, where's he from? Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's going to shine light on you. Yeah, it's going to help you out. So that's yeah. that's my number one thing if I was going to talk. That. That's the number one thing I'm going to tell you. I mean, if you're a Tulsa artist, bring yourself as a Tulsa artist because you never know when a Tulsa artist might blow up. And since there isn't a lot of Tulsa branding, man, your brand is a Tulsa artist. You'll pop up. You might be the next to go just because you brand yourself right. And that's G shit. That's real. That's real game. Pick that up. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Jim. Anything you got to say before we, you know, before we dip up out of here? This was hey, man, I was going to say, big, big, uh, big shout out to Jay Burner, man. Support your local media outlets. Man, and support your local artists like you support the people who don't know you. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? We're all out here trying to, on the same mission, man. Stop the violence. Put the guns down. Shit's really not that deep no more, man. Motherfuckers out here just wilding. Man, shout out my little brother. Shout out all my people in the building. Man, I appreciate you for the opportunity. Tulsa's favorite podcast coming soon with me and Casey. And coming here now, Jen is officially a member of Dear Lover. I haven't said that. I'm Dear oh, Lover's man. PR manager. So, you need me, Dear Lover, hit me. I'm you on tell, it. Tell uh, people to stop fighting at the gathering place. No, I'm just playing. Nah, <laughs> shout my little brother's fighting at the gathering place. <laughs> shout <laughs> my boy, walk him down. I, yeah, shout out, shout out to the homeless people downtown, too. Oh, God. For sure. That's the only <laughs> thing we got. Yo. <laughs> Yo, if you in the Tulsa area, you need a cut. Give my guy Roger. Very professional, nice cuts, nice prices.